What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Ripple Van Winkle is back with another video. Thursday, December 31st, the last day of the year. And I know some of you are saying, I am happy 2020 is over with. Bring on 2021, it can only get better. And that is right. 2020 was definitely the year of the digital asset. Bitcoin almost hit 30,000, broke its all time high. This is great. Total market cap is up to 746 billion. Very, very close to its all time high. The Bitcoin dominance is still flirting as it's around 70.4%. It's flirting with its all time high. I believe it's pretty close. I don't know the exact numbers, but it, it was pretty close. 72 maybe? I don't know. I'm sure someone will know it off the top of their head and correct me in the YouTube comments. I would appreciate that. But listen, 2021 is going to be a big year. We have a lot to look forward to. XRP, sitting pretty. 21 cents. I love it. Give me more. That's what I say. SEC news, they tried to shake us out. These exchanges delisting XRP in the United States, they try to tell us that we can't buy XRP anymore. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to the end. Listen, it's either zero or hero, and I plan on being a hero when this is all said and done. No one is going to pry the XRP out of these little greedy hands that I have over here. I'm gonna keep on accumulating, I'm gonna keep keeping it offline, and I'm gonna hold this bad boy until it has created wealth for generations. I know what's coming. I've done my research. I've been here four years. I've been through the ups. I've been through a lot of downs. I've been through a lot of FUD. I've been through a lot of bull crap. And nothing has shook me out. This SEC news, I laughed at it, please. I know what XRP is. I read that lawsuit. It is nothing but bull crap what they're trying to say. It's a joke. As we're on that topic, before we get going, I've seen a lot of people out there saying that Ripple owes us an explanation. Ripple does not owe us an explanation. What do you want them to explain to you? You want them to tell you everything that they're going to go use against the SEC, all the evidence that they have? You want them to put that on Twitter? before this law case, before this lawsuit goes down? It's not how this works. I will backfire on them. Ripple has been nothing, nothing but transparent to us. And they don't even have to be. We don't own part of Ripple. We have nothing to do with Ripple. We hold a digital asset, a decentralized digital asset. But by Ripple being the largest owner in that asset, they showed us transparency. They told us what they were doing with the XRP. They went through partnerships. They went through kind of a restructure because they didn't think something was gonna work. They didn't have to do any of that. They don't owe us anything. And you know what? If Brad wanted to sell some of his bags and buy another asset, nothing's wrong with that. Diversify. You can diversify if you wanted to. No one's telling you to hold XRP. Go hold another coin. You find me another team out there that is built like Ripple. You find me another asset out there that is built like XRP because you're not going to. I want you to find me another team that owns a majority of their assets that have it locked up because you can't. What did, what did Vitalik Buterin do from Ethereum? How many of of the Ether tokens that he sell, I believe, to Mike Novogratz. 500 million for 99 cents each? Come on. Ripple has stated time and time again what they are doing with the SR XRP that's coming up escrow. You can see what's going on on the ledger. Brad has told you over and over again he is long XRP. Everything that's presented in that SEC document is nothing but writing on a piece of paper. Am I right or am I right here? Nothing has been proven. So you've been riding Ripple's back for how long? I've been, I've been following Ripple for four years. I've never doubted this company. Never. All I see is this company growing, signing new partners, doing the best for the ecosystem, expanding. I have never questioned 
what they were doing. But now the SEC comes out, they put writing on a piece of paper and you are immediately are going to listen to the SEC, believe what the SEC is saying because it's going to court? That's a joke. Let Ripple have their time and their time isn't gonna be on Twitter to sit down and to explain everyone that holds XRP. Paragraph by paragraph and go over what's going on and why it's false and debunk all the information. When this trial sets off, and everything becomes public knowledge and it becomes official, then we'll figure out what's going on. But for people to sit there and to say they're disappointing Brad and Chris, because what they have read from the SEC is just crushing, it's groundbreaking, it crushes their heart, it kills them. Nothing has been proven. You are believing the SEC. You are believing what they have said because the SEC has been the most honest, the most trustworthy Part of the U.S. government, right? That's what you're saying. They've never lied. They never manipulated. They never have done anything wrong. Why would they mislead us now? That's what you're saying. If the SEC says it, then it must be true. That is what you are getting at. That is far from thinking here. That is far from the truth. The SEC is trying to get paid. They want money and they want a large sum of money. They want Ripple, they want Chris and Brad to pay up billions of dollars. Where is that money gonna go? Ask yourself. The SEC was put in place to protect the investor. The SEC had seven years to do something about Ripple, to do something about XRP. Seven years. They did nothing. How is that protecting the investor? It's not. Think about that. It's not protecting the investor. Now I wanna jump over to a tweet. I'm not sure if I covered this yesterday. I'm just gonna go over it real quick. There has been an update. There's been breaking news in the court case, okay? Judge Torres told both Ripple and the SEC and I'm gonna put it in my terms. I'm not gonna give you all this mumbo jumbo. This is what she said. Hey guys, you want a faster trial? Don't wait for me. I'm not gonna be free until later in the year. You wanna speed this thing up? Go see someone else. We're waiting to hear back. This is great news. Speed this trial up. We know what's gonna happen. Brad, Chris, they're gonna pay a little bit of a fine. whoop de doo after they pay that fine, the SEC is going to make a formal statement stating that XRP is a currency. And then you know what happens? The price goes, excuse me, the price goes flying. Why is the price going to go flying? Because you're going to have clean order books in the U.S. You're going to have no buy sell walls going down. XRP has not been removed from exchanges. It has just been suspended. There is a big difference. XRP to get re enabled on the exchanges is seriously going to be flipping a switch it's going to be changing a little bit of code saying open the order books and when these order books get open because they're all going to be wiped out nothing is going to stop this thing from running as i have stated kin did 2000 percent and it's a bottom feeder xrp is on every major exchange in the world multiply this by five it's going to do 10,000 percent XRP is going to shine next year. XRP is going to break the all-time high. XRP is going to be double digits by next year. It's coming, people. You don't have to believe it right now because things are gray, things are cloudy. I get it. I definitely get it. It looks like XRP is never going to break 30 cents. I understand. But it is. And when it does, it's going to happen quick. It's going to happen fast. It's going to be a violent move to the uptrend. Let me keep going. Uphold. Thank you. All I have to say, I know people probably covered this, but I'm covering it today. I'm not going to read you all eight, eight tweets of the CEO's thread from Uphold. But what I'm going to tell you, if you are in the U.S. and you want to buy XRP, Uphold is going to be the way to go. They are the only exchange from the U.S. to my knowledge that has not. 
delisted XRP and they will not delist XRP because they believe the SEC is in the wrong and they are not worried about it. Uphold has some brass cojones, if you know what I'm saying. But they're smart. How much business is Uphold about to get? When these exchanges do come back online with XRP, do you think people are gonna move off of Uphold and go back to these exchanges? No, they just found a new home. When you find a new home, you stay in a new home for several years before you find another new home. People been in, in Coinbase for seven years. People been in Coinbase buying XRP for the past, what, two to three years? It was like an apartment. Now they got kicked out. Now they just found a home at Uphold. Congratulations, Uphold. Your valuation is about to go through the roof. When you IPO, I can only imagine what you're going to be worth. I am proud of you. This is what we needed. We needed someone to stand up like this. Here's my biggest thing. If the SEC, for some crazy reason, and I'm just throwing this out there, does come out on top, and all these exchanges been selling XRP for two, three, four, five years, you name it, what do you think's gonna happen to them? They're gonna get sued for selling an unregistered security. So there's no difference if you delist or you don't delist now because the damage is done and this will get backdated. And then what's going to happen there? These exchanges are going to go after the SEC because they've been twirling their thumbs for the past seven years not doing anything. Come on. You don't have anything done to you for seven years. You think you're clear. You think you're good to go. What do you have to worry about? How do you let something linger for seven years if you have an issue with it? You don't. That is why this court case doesn't make sense. That is why something is off. You need to look at the bigger picture here. You need to look out. You need to see where XRP is going, people. And we're going to move over to my man, Bull Run Ronka at Willy Wonka XRP. XRP is going to bounce hard. Yeah, you see it? It is winding up like a tight little coil. It is going to shoot up, people. I'm telling you, I don't care about this SEC case. It's not going to hold the price of XRP down for that much longer. It's not. XRP is due to shine. And we are entering alt season? What do you think is going to happen? All these other altcoins are going to go crazy. But XRP is not going to do anything. No. I'm sorry. No. Then we move over. Before I get into this, I actually want to cover this. Coinbase is being sued for selling an unregistered security. Great, perfect. This excites me. You want to know why? Now Coinbase has to go to court and defend why XRP wasn't a security. Or they need to defend why they were selling a security. What do you think is going to happen here? Coinbase is going to fight this. Coinbase is now going to have to fight on behalf of XRP. I don't know if you seen my tweet yesterday, but you know what's going to come down now? Crypto exchanges burst the SEC. The SEC has let everyone down. The only way for the SEC to come out on top here is to register S uh, XRP as a currency. Do you really think the SEC is getting $1.4 billion out of Ripple? What do you think happens if XRP is registered as a security? How many exchanges in the United States are going to go after them? How many people, citizens, me and you, are going to go after the SEC for not protecting us for seven years? It will get ugly. It will get ugly quick for the SEC. Then you know who else they're going to go after? Jay Clayton. Do you understand the amount of money the SEC would be sued for? It's going to make $1.4 billion look like peanuts. Think about how many XRP investors are out there. It's not going to happen, people. This lawsuit against Ripple is not going to last long. And the only reason I believe this is actually going down is to get XRP the proper clarity that is needed. And to also form the Ripple test. That's another story. Anyways, let's go on. Yesterday, this guy puts out Wells Fargo patent was just put out December 29th, so two days ago the patent was put out. Very, very interesting things in here. It comes from Wells Fargo. 
called System and Methods for cross-border payments via distributed ledger based payments rails. Listen, I'm not going to go over this whole thing for you. I'm going to make another video today. Going through this thing, combing through it. There is some very interesting stuff in here. Do they say XRP? No. When does anyone ever say XRP? They don't. But when you read between the lines and you see who's involved, you clearly see that the XRP ledger is going to be used. Wells Fargo talks about eliminating Fedwire. It's for money coming into the U.S. Wells Fargo talks about sending money via a DLT-based system, eliminating SWIFT. As I dug deeper into the patent, you're not going to believe who else was involved here. I'll tell you now, but I'll get into all of them later. R3 Quarter London. How many times have we heard London is ready, people? You want to know who else was involved? Accenture. A massive, massive Ripple partner. One who has run tests with multiple banks using RippleNet and clearly stating they're using XRP to settle their transactions. And that's all involved in this Wells Fargo patent. Wells Fargo talks about tokenizing the US dollar, but then they talk about settling the dollar on the back end into a different country. I don't care about them tokenizing the dollar. I care about what's doing the settlement and how that US dollar is getting over into a Mexican peso or into a Japanese yen or into any other currency you can think of what is the bridge because they talk about eliminating swift they talk about the removal of nostro and vostro accounts those accounts are getting removed they're going through a dlt based system how is this happening that's the question that's what i'm going to cover later today because i'm not going to go out for new year's eve i'm going to stay home and relax and wake up tomorrow without a hangover without feeling like crap and I'm going to watch the two college football bowl games because they are going to be some great games. And I love nothing but sitting back with a cold drink in my hand, watching some football. I don't need to deal with the headaches tonight. That's me. That's going to wrap it for this video. Stay tuned. Another video coming to you later tonight. I'm going to go drink my coffee, play Call of Duty. I'm not working today. Wash your damn hands. Ripple Van Winkle is out.